The boys are buzzing. We currently sit atop the NHL with a fairly big gap. I think it was like 10 points or something like that. So we are having an incredible season. Currently, the team's record is 43, 14, and 6, which is immaculate. In the last video, we were losing some games and I was definitely blowing it out of proportion by saying like, oh yeah, just throw the season away. But realistically, it was just that the record of 22, 2, and 1 was unsustainable. Which I mean, yeah, like that is gonna be the best season the NHL's ever seen, if you sustain that. Scott's having a great year, 243 GAA, a 919 save percentage, so close to the 920. The record speaks for itself. We're gonna win a lot of hardware this year. But again, I will reiterate that I don't care. The Stanley Cup is the only thing that I want. Give me what I want! And I just remembered we're at the trade deadline. I totally forgot about that. We have not passed it yet. So let's have a look at our roster beforehand. Absolutely insane. Matthews having a career year. Probably not actually, but still. 92 points in 63 games? Are you kidding? Maybe we could use some help on the second line for Bedsy, but really we don't need to do too much here. Defensively, we're also fine. So I don't really know if the GM is going to do anything. Doesn't have to. But we are going to find out one way or another. I don't know if we have to pass it or if we can play this game against the Ducks. If we even want to do that, let's advance a day. It's taken a while, so I'm assuming that the trade deadline is being simulated as part of this. I think the trade deadline passed. I don't know. Let's go view the line, see if anything is different. Maybe we did, maybe we didn't. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Team stayed the exact same, which you know what? Fair. We've already played against the Ducks. Let's try to find a team here that is also maybe in the President's Trophy race. It looks like we don't really play anyone like that. Wow, we have an easy schedule. Let's go play the Sabres just for fun. Overtime loss against the Ducks. Of course, I let up six goals. Complete joke. We bounced back with a 3-0 shutout victory against the Kings. That was probably Aiden Hill in net. And then we lose to the Golden Knights. So let's see how we do against Buffalo. Never mind. Wasn't in for it. But we won 4-1. Good stuff. Florida has a pretty good record. This could be a great game. Let's find out if they give us a run for our money or not. They definitely came out of the gate a lot quicker than us. They have not let us even put a shot on net yet. There we go. It's about time. Depth goal scoring from Trennan. Love to see that. Obviously, it's great when the top line score, yada yada. But it's always good to see depth goal scoring because that's what you need in the playoffs. We got it right back. Let's go, Leonard. Let's go, Trennan. We even ended up getting another one. So a two-goal period from Leonard. Let's jump in. Oh, moment of truth. Let's see if they updated the toggle or not. No. Okay, so they made it so you can request trades. But... You still have to go update the manual post-hugging as well as the tethering. All right, we are all good now. That would have been so unfortunate. The first shot tipped, but goes just wide of the net. Cousins lets one fly into the glove of Scotty, who hands it out to Sergachev, who is wearing number 98. And Bedard is still wearing number 16. I know I saw a comment about how the rosters in Be A Pro are all weird when you start in... Europe or anything other than the NHL, actually. Send it down low, Passa. All right, not exactly what I was planning in my head. But here comes Flo Rida. Sale is in. That caught me off guard. Was not ready for that. Still got the blocker on it, though. No big deal. We're going to get another shot here. Please do not send a point shot medium height that's going to get tipped because it'll go in the net. Robertson. Oh, yeah. Get out of here. And we get beat to it again, so it is all Florida so far, I feel like, in this third period. We gotta get something going, because a two-goal lead is certainly not guaranteed. That was a little rhyme there. Nope. Shut the door on that one, but not on that one. Oh, no way! It literally broke our player's stick. Are you serious right now? Rohan Montoya. Let go an absolute howitzer, apparently, that deleted our defenseman's stick and still went in. Yeah, my reaction time on that was awful. Okay, lead is down to one. Or wait. Did he break the stick on me? Okay, Sergachev, I see you. We're going to have some issues here. 
Because, yeah, he did break his stick on me. Yeah, I need to get my act together here. Just a little bit, because right now, I don't feel in this one. Obviously, we're winning, but I mean, me personally, I just don't feel ready for anything. Here we go. We're in it now. Come on, Scott. Just wondering why you went to that side of the net when it looked like the entire other side was available. There were no rooms booked over there. Nice hit. Gonna go for the pass. Never mind. Not what I thought was gonna happen. Saw that one coming from a mile away, though. Alright, Sale, if that is your real name. I love that he throws pucks on net. I appreciate you because you're not doing all this, oh, I have to cross crease kind of deal. No, you're just putting the puck on net and drawing penalties. That one, not a big fan of. Alright, alright, here we go. Time to prove ourselves. Kill off this penalty, get some momentum. Go get the insurance marker. Absolute bulletproof plan. Get out of my face immediately. What a save. That was their only chance on the power play so far. We have been doing a phenomenal job of killing what was an unnecessary tripping penalty. 5,000 miles away from your own net. You can't be doing that, Berkeley. Oh. Okay. Not too sure how that hurt him, but... I'll take a Tilly. Can we fight too? We sure can. Here we go. It is line brawl time against the Flow Rider Panthers. I don't know who we're fighting. We can't see the health bar. But what I will tell you is Scott is still undefeated up till this point, And it is going to remain that way. All right. A little dodge action. Easy. You're so, so predictable, my friend. Yep. Do it again. You won't. Try to hit me with an uppercut. He actually got me. Okay. Oh, he actually got me. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm actually worried. No! No, no, no. We finally lost. Are you kidding me? Why? Well, I feel like I kind of deserved that one for being so overly confident. And I just got put in my place. I just got humbled by Joel. So you know what? I appreciate it. Thank you, Joel. Three minutes left. We still have a one... Alright, just another thing that I was wrong about. What a humbling experience this is against the Florida Panthers. Wow. If we go on to lose this game, I will be devastated. Thought that was going in. To be honest with you, I was ready to be defeated. Okay. Okay. I'm getting alphaed. That guy is the man. Yeah. Um. Yep. Saved it. <laughs> Not again, not again! Let's go! And we still have 10 seconds. Passed. Uh, you had him on the outside. Alright. Still 5 seconds. Nice. No! Why would you shoot it literally at our guy's torso? I don't even think that was going to hit the net. Please just no shootout. That's all I ask. And I think I'm being reasonable here. Well, I got my wish. The blame of that game falls to one person and one person only. Absolute disgrace. You know what? San Jose is doing pretty good. We could go and battle them. Or, actually, Nashville is doing quite well as well. So, we should maybe duel them because it's a divisional game. You're so rude, James. James is really out here thinking he's the main character. What are we doing? 8-7. But then we lose 6-4. We lose 4-1. This team's pathetic. We actually have to be careful because the Flyers are catching up.
we have to play them. We'll start with Nashville because they are second in our division at the moment. We have 103, they have 92. So they're not really close, but let's just push them a little bit further away. Or not, because we're not in. That's cool too. And Aiden Hill gets a shutout. Hmm. <laughs> Love this game so much. The Yotes have a pretty good record. Let's try to take them down. I was not convinced we were going to be in for this one either. Thought they were just going to be running with Aiden. And we get scored on shorthanded. How does that happen? No, no one wants to answer me. And we get scored on again by Jake Muzzin's child. Maybe. I feel like we could still do this. So let's try. All right, happy... Nice and easy. Let's just go out there, get a quick one. And we'll win the game. It really is that simple. They almost did it. The quick one was almost got. Berkeley. Nice pass, but it is intercepted and almost a breakaway attempt for Barrett Hayton, was it? What are we doing? What are we doing? Not trying to win. I'll tell you that right now. Come on, Bedsy. We need you. We need you, Bedsy. What even happened there? He had the puck and then he just didn't. That's crazy. All right, Tomasino. Why did I go so far to the right? I am really just not on my game today. Yes. No. The puck meets Irene. We still have it, though. We have so much pressure going on. How are we not scoring? Their goaltender really wants that goose egg. First line's back out there. Great pass in the middle to Pasta. And we have a face-off in their zone. All right, we still got 11 minutes left here. The post-trade deadline collapse is real, even in Be a Pro. It's not just a franchise thing. Valeno goes for a low shot. Can we, like, not leave someone... Just sitting in front of the net all alone. Maybe. Let's proceed, Pasta. Finally, Osu. <laughs> there we go. I love all the guys just standing there watching them. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. But anyway, it is a one-goal game. Don't know how he snuck that one in there. But I'm not going to ask questions. What a save. Just keep throwing them on net. You're doing wonderful, Pasta. Nice. Gets by the hit. We, we are scoring another one. It's just gonna happen. And you know what? It's gonna be that man right there. The one with the C. The one not wearing the right jersey number. Connor Bedsy. Go drag release. You heard it here first. Book it. Come on, Beatard. Come on, Beatard. No! That was so close. All right. Yep. I love the puck movement. Their defense just saved a goal, I am convinced. And also, Sergachev just trucked Clayton Keller. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. You know what? No, it's very believable because we're sick. Imagine if Sergachev missed that though. It was completely open. Absolutely nothing was in his way. But I've seen it happen before, so it's definitely possible. Throw it out to you, Sergs, you deserve it. So all I need to do is not let up a goal in the next two and a half and we are guaranteed one point, which every point is starting to matter with Philly Gaining hot on our trail. How is that a penalty? Slashing? When? Hold on. I gotta see the replay here because I saw a bunch of shoving. I did not see a slash in there. Kevin? That's a soft call. Just trying to ruin the game for us or? No? Well, then what are you doing? 30 seconds left. All we have to do is get this puck out of our zone for 30 seconds. That is it. Oh, they're back. Oh, they are back. Get deleted. We have now Charles Barkley guaranteed ourselves a point. But it'd be great if we got two. 
Great interception by Sergachev. He is having himself a game. At least we got one point out of it. Glass half full. I genuinely have a feeling that this game against the Flyers is going to dictate who wins the President's Trophy because we have very similar records. The only thing is we do have a lot more overtime losses, but with all these games left and only five points separating us, they're right there. So, I stand by my point. This game is going to decide it. Are you trying to add the President's Trophy to the team's hardware case? Obviously. Like, what am I going to say? No, actually, don't want it. What? You know what, though? There is the President's Trophy curse. So, gotta keep that... Just at least somewhere in the trail of thought. With these two wins, we did pull a little bit further ahead. We are now seven points. So if they win this game, then they will be back to five, which again is still very achievable, but I like where we're sitting. Amazing way to start. Matthew scores instantly. And just like that, Chicago has a one nothing lead. This would be an intense game to watch. The first place team going up against the second place team this close to playoffs, they actually might you know, in the real NHL kind of sit some guys. You don't want to risk injury, stuff like that, when your spot's already guaranteed. They have Mitch Marner. Incredible. Oh, there he is. Just, you know, said his name, so he decided to pop back up. Come on, Chicago. All right, well, we got our work cut out for us. So let me get this straight. They have Marner. They have McDavid. And they have Jimmy Stoop. What a save already. That is not a good way to start the third at all. I'm curious as to why you didn't shoot that. All right, say less. Never mind. It was all calculated. A part of the master plan. Well, it didn't take very long, but we are now all square. Even Steven, if you will. Way to be there, Berkeley. Way to be there. Horrible positioning on my part, but just managed to get a piece of that. Okay, yeah, they have a really good team. Because I've seen Ehlers, I've seen Nurse, Pulock. A lot of talent on this Philadelphia squadron. They are basically the new Smashville Predators from last year. Also, not ideal. What are you doing, Pappy? All over it. All over it. Not all over this one, though. Don't like where it's headed. Okay, I lied. Still got it. They're going cross. No, they aren't going cr Yes, they are. Scott is on one right now. You know what? I'm feeling it too. This is going to be a good game. Let's get it out though. I've had enough for now. Completely lost that one. And thankfully the puck was not sent into the net. It met Irene. Goalie's best friend. Come on, Caton. Nice pass back. I feel like Berkeley's having an incredible game. Flying out there. Bolduc. Ooh. Okay. This has been a goaltender extravaganza. Do it. Do it. Didn't do it. Oh, the celebration too. Get out of here. That was the most cocky celebration I've ever seen. I'm pretty sure this is the individual that hit the post earlier. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I could have poke checked probably, but yeah, it's kind of froze up. All right, we are back to trailing by one. That's what we needed. That is what we needed. You know what, actually? I've just decided at this very moment that I need to get revenge. Hold on, hold that thought. Yeah, I'm going after him. Come on, Sammy. Step up. <laughs> I love it. It's so awesome when they go into little save animations like that while skating to get absolutely destroyed. All right. All right. Okay. I got caught again. I got to be a little bit more cautious here, I feel like. I'm being too aggressive. Okay. Yep. That's a good start. Oh, he dodged me. He's dodging me out here. Yeah, there you go. Okay. You can dodge a dodge? That was 
a weird fight. Like, really weird. So slow getting over to those. Thankfully, I did, though. For that one, anyway. Nice. They did kill off that power play with ease. I believe they had the two best chances. Nice hit. Clearly our power play is a little bit stinky, though. We... It was a hat trick. It was, of course, of course it was a hat trick. Obviously it was a hat trick. Big save, but you know what? I'm still upset about that last one. That sh shouldn't have gone in. It was a snipe, good shot, but Scott, you're 98 overall. It's time to grow up. Hopefully we're just getting all this shakiness out now during the season. And then come playoff time, we are going to be a well-oiled machine. This guy's throwing everything out. He has no fear. And I'm getting pulled. All right. Yeah, let me try to get to the bench, but it's not going to work. I'll go him. Why do they always do it at the worst times? Samsonov's just diving all over the place. This guy's a fish out of water. And somehow it's working for him. Good game, Flyers. Good game. Well, with that loss, I now must say that our President's Trophy chances are compromised. But I think we're still sitting quite nice. They have five points to make up and not many games to do it. So we'll see. One game at a time. How do we do against the Golden Knights? We win 7-4. That might seal the deal, actually. Yeah, it's done. Okay, so we have secured the Presidents. And we close out the season with a three-game winning streak. That is what we needed. Minnesota Wild, you are going to get demolished. No way. This is a different player we're seeing. This I'm the starter? I think what we've seen over the last few days has really... Get real. Oh my. This is literally the third meeting in a row on the same day. The same day. We get no timer. I guess that's the one for winning the division. Looks like it. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of Energizer and put this one in there. I think it's going to come in handy, actually, quite a bit. Because these AI love doing one-timers. So we won the division very convincingly. And in the entire league, yeah, we ended up having eight more points than the Flyers. So wasn't actually close at all. They kind of closed the gap and then we just pulled ahead again. Top 16 teams qualified and let's see who finished dead last. It was the Ottawa Senators with 32 wins. The Ducks are outside looking in and the Columbus Blue Jackets finished ninth. Has to be an Art Ross winner. Has to be. 122 and then 112 for Pasta. They might be 1-2. Scott stats fell off pretty hard at the end there. 913 save percentage, 267, but still respectable. And Sergachev did pretty well with 40 points, 35 from Kevin. We did lead the league by a large amount. Nine wins over Spencer Knight. And he only had a 901, so we really dominated. Kale Maker just being a dominant force. As per use, 91 points, then a drop off to 65. You can't make this up. They are one and two, and they are the only two to break 100 because Jimmy Stu was third and he got to 99. So 56 goals is Rocket Richard winning. 122 is Art Ross winning. And Scott Sterling is also winning some hardware. So as I said, after I believe the first episode, we are definitely getting decorated this year but none of that matters because i want to win the stanley cup 88 points from zegris i feel like he's slowed down quite a bit all right there it is your playoff tree of what is most likely scott's final playoff run we have the minnesota wild in the first round toronto and boston going head to head in the first round that is just a classic matchup well as always i appreciate you guys if you leave a like that would be fire and i will see you soon